Hi again, I am Fathom and I am the founder of Other Vibra Creations and today we're going to dial it back a bit. I have been making these really unique pieces using the morale fiber patterns that I've been showing you guys and I think that we're going to take a step back today and make something a little bit simpler. So on my Etsy, which you can view in the description below, or my Square site, also down there, boom, look at that segue to advertising myself. <laughs> but down there, you can find that I have these adorable jellyfish plushies listed. Right now, I have them with the rest of the Etsy shop stuff. I didn't think to grab one while talking about them because I'm silly. But the pattern is a mishmash of different patterns that I've seen uh, from Lion Brand, from a few different creators, and just from me looking at jellyfish to kind of get the shape of them. And I combine those things to make a no-sew pattern because I am not a big sewing fan. I like, I like sewing, but my stitches are very messy and I like making these semi-professional looking pieces. Like, yes, I like the scrappiness of my work, but I want it to be a clean scrappy, if that makes sense. I don't want a bunch of ends sticking out. I want something final and strong looking. So I created a no-sew pattern to reduce the amount of stitches I have, or ends to weave in rather. So today, instead of making it with the usual yarn I make it with, which is Lion Brand Feels Like Butter, which is a weight four that I use a 3.5 millimeter hook with, today we're gonna be using this. This is Lion Brand Cute as a Button. This yarn is discontinued. Let me get the single one of my hairs out of there. Sorry. So this yarn is advertised to be a bulky weight polyester yarn made for children. I would not class this as a bulky weight. This is closer to a weight four for sure. If you look at how thin this yarn is. So I'm going to take this yarn. I have it in two bowls, which is what my pattern requires for it. If you like this pattern, feel free to request that I drop the pattern at some point because I don't want to release it if people don't want it, but if people want it, I'll happily share it. But I'm going to take these. I'm going to take a 4.5 millimeter hook, which is a size seven. I personally have the Hobby Lobby hooks because as I've mentioned multiple times on my channel, I don't shop at Hobby Lobby. Way too many donations have come from there. So I have them and I'm just going to make the pattern. I think it'll be a fun time. You guys will get to see a cute jellyfish that is probably already in the thumbnail of this video. And yeah, let's do it. progress update. The top is done. I am now working on the sides. I had to restart because I can't read my own gosh darn handwriting. I just went into autopilot and I was like, yeah, the first row is half double crochet because I want to have like a nice wider section over that first row to kind of perfectly calculate how wide I want it. And I was like, yeah, so I just do half double crochet all the way around, all the time. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. It's literally just the first row and the sides when I get there. So that was a schwoopsie. I only spent like an hour and a half ahead of time because I've been doing chores between rows. I'm sure you can hear the dishes in the background being run. But yeah, we are back here, luckily. I still think I'm gonna finish this project today, which is nice because that means that I will have this video fully handled by the time I have Friendsgiving this weekend. But yeah, I 
am feeling good about it. This, like I said, this pattern is a lot simpler than like the Lotus uh, Duster and the Novella Shawl that I've been doing. Well, the Novella Shawl is actually really easy once you get into the rhythm of it, but the Lotus Duster, that was a more complex one. I enjoyed it thoroughly though. I'm hoping that I'll finish this and I should have enough of the same yarn. I can make more than one of these guys, which would be fun. Just have some jumbo jellies to sell. And yeah. Okay, first off, if you notice anything wrong with my left eye, no you don't. I'm allergic to cats, I made the mistake of petting one, and then wiping a tear from my eye, because I was sad. And that is on me, so we're gonna act like this looks totally normal right now, because I'll be fine. But, hand sanitized, ta-da! Here he is. He is a big guy next to my head for comparison. I know I'm small. I am five foot even. I have a pretty small face, but this is absolutely adorable. I love how, smack me, why don't you? I love how long the tentacles are and how swirly they are. So the trick I use to get this kind of effect down here is we build our body up. I then front loop only do this little fringe, back loop only do single crochet. Then front loop only, I do every seventh stitch is a tentacle. And then back loop only, I shut everything back here. The bottom is a little bit wonky, but it still sits nice and flat. You can even wear him as a crown. When I showed my mom when I was in progress, she assumed I was making a basket. And my roommate assumed I was making a weird hat. So... I could make a weird jellyfish basket hat thing, but we have it. And with that, I think, ignoring the messy hair, <laughs> I think we're going to wrap this video up. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support me, you can go to my Etsy or my Square site down below. You can also like, comment, subscribe, and today's question is gonna be, what is your favorite favorite aquatic animal? I really, really enjoy looking at sharks. Sharks get a bad rep, love how cute they are, enjoy them a lot, but what's yours? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna go and get ready to have dinner. Bye for now.